on our if 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 you have somebody like me i need somebody like you and then it's not necessary that you bring this on videos yeah but i let her be guys i let Please. her be because of all these person web on you i never want to try lose you try them not on me hi guys good afternoon to you all good morning good evening you are welcome back to my channel thank you guys for clicking on this video my name is ella sutebo if you are new here please subscribe like this video comment and share and for my ogs ella sutebo just lovers thank you so much for your love and support today is sunday and uh, we have some couple of gists and one is a sad one that I want to share what happened to Mawa. So please feel free, um, relax and watch to the end. Okay. So somebody asked me, how is my lip seed, guys? It has healed. Okay. I don't know how I sustained the injury and that's it. Today we video, we are going to talk about Mawa and his girlfriend. We'll talk about um, Sean and um, Kino. And then we'll talk about... Um, this other man, you know, um, this other Steve Ndoku, and probably we'll talk about this other guy, okay? So, let's just see how time, the one time will permit us, guys, you understand? The one time will permit us, okay? Let's just do it that way, okay? So, please watch this video to the end, and also give me a thumbs up, okay? Thank you so much for your love and support. So, guys, we have a sad news coming from Mawa and his girlfriend, Rosio. Yesterday, they traveled and um, they are to begin their journey, okay? Mo have stayed like seven months in the village. So, now he decided to start another another travel adventures, um, travel content and all that with his girlfriend. And something happened this morning that he, you know, he posted in his community. So, I'm going to play the video and um, let's watch the video, then we'll continue, okay? So, Rosio was robbed this morning, and if you check the video, the person don't just come up from anywhere or come out from anywhere to grab that bag. That person had been studying them, or this way, that person had been following them. And yes, I agree with the comments that said it is because she's Muzugu. This is one thing that attracted, you know, the whole stealing stuff. Because she is Muzugu, you know, the person thought, oh, this is, I have seen a rich Muzugu. Probably in that bag, there is millions of uh, dollars that I will get. Maybe that's why the person did that. You understand? And also, I also agree with the people who said, you know, this person said, you know, the mistake mom made is to allow her walk the roadside. And I totally agree. Even as a mother, when you are carrying your children, you are walking along the road or you want to cross the road, you will keep your child inside. That, has, that is safe. You... As the more mature person, a more experienced person, you will be the one that is that will be close to the road, not your children. You understand? So in this case of Mama and Rosio, Mama is supposed to be the one in the standing or walking in that position that Rosio is, not Mama be inside as if it's Rosio that is protecting Mama. And if you watch the video of a Rosio, Rosio made a video explaining all this. You know, Mama was still blaming her understand mom was still blaming her boss mama told her before that, that she should not go with any bag she should not go with anything you understand because of how this is so let me just play the clip of what she said but mama next time you know somebody is in this state of pain you know she's going through pain of what just happened you can't just start blaming her immediately you can't just tell her oh i want you Oh, I told you not to carry anything. Why did you carry your bag? Your bag was free. No, at that time, it's for you to console her. At that time, it's for you to pet her. You understand? Not start blaming, you know, putting blame on her. Okay? And somebody said, talk about scripted. Oh, my God. Guys, do you think that this was script? That this um stealing was a, you know, stage? For what? For what reason? For donation or what? I don't think it was stage. You guys think it was stage? You know, you know, when something happened like this, everybody just have opinion. So let's watch the video there. There is one particular person that said something here that was not right and that was in my one, you know, page. I even had to attack the person. Okay, so let's watch it. Uh, 
so yeah, very unfortunate, very not a nice welcome from this city. I actually I started this video here in the room saying I know mm, Nairobi is it's it's known for these pickpockets, pickpockets guys that steal phones and everything. And this is the first time that this thing happened to me traveling. <laughs> I want to correct um, Rosio for something she said. Even if I'm not Nairobi, even if I'm not from the country, but let me just correct it. She said that Nairobi is known for this is known for pocket picking. Guys, the truth is that this thing can happen anywhere. It can happen anywhere. That even in Italy here, food can be stolen. Okay, so don't pet Nairobi that way. That oh, in Nairobi they are known for pocket picking. No, that's the wrong statement. Okay, it can happen anywhere. Okay. Even in your country, and I'm glad you said it. So let's continue. This is big cities. And I'm always very careful at the same time. Like I was holding my my bag. I tried to put it like more inside, not just be, be so relaxed with the bag. But even though I try to find... But you should tell them. I told, I you. You should yeah, tell them. Marwa, of course. Marwa told me... Uh, I told that him I should have, I should have left not more stuff, stuff here. Yes. He said only the essentials, and for me, <laughs> essentials was those stuff that I was carrying with me. Yeah, I told her, guys, and this is for you that are coming to Kenya, especially in Nairobi. If you're walking the street, just carry one thing that you are ready to lose. If you're not ready to lose that thing, don't carry it around. And I told Rocio, right outside our hotel, Rocio, your bag is looking full. It's not okay. Uh, remove these things and carry the only things you need. She said, no, Marwa, this is all I need. I said, okay, let me help you carry some in my bag because I had my other bag. I had, I had to no be honest, I, didn't have, I had no idea that I, was, that I had the iPods inside. I, I didn't realize that the wallet was inside. I just I just knew that my phone and the GoPro was inside. I actually I took this bag with me to put the the GoPro inside because the GoPro is big. I don't have any pockets with me, so that's what I carry with me. But she, he this took bag. the jacket. Even if you had put it in the jacket, would have she would have gone. He took everything. You have to understand that. Yeah, because so I was the carrying the the, the just, jacket on the back. Guys, just don't carry stuff that, especially when they are valuable. Like uh, for me. When I'm in the streets, because I've been I've been around the world, guys, and nothing like this has ever happened to me. Even Nairobi, I've filmed hundreds of videos in this city. My sister does the same, but there's one single rule: don't carry things that you don't need on the streets. So you see, boy, see, try to prove that you know he want her. You understand? Get to the extent that you know. They started arguing. Okay, if you have watched the video, you know what I'm talking about. They started arguing. Look as if Rosio was evil provoking. And this is it. Because at this time, Rosio tried to let the audience, let the world know this is what happened to her. This is her experience. Yes, Mama talk about I told you, but Mama was still, I don't know, like hammering the world. So it was getting hot. It's a, it's a sad one, you know. Um, I'm also happy that her document is not there. And I don't think she she didn't measure cash. So she measured wallet, probably her ATF card and all that. So I thank God that this is how it ended. Because even mom made sure that Azumi Rosio, you know, hold the bag, start dragging it with him. Rosio would have fallen down. Probably by now she would have been in the hospital. Mom made sure he said it, okay? Mom said probably by now Rosio would have been in the hospital. So it's even good that Rosio did not hold the bag. Rosio did not know. You're okay? She was <laughs> there's no need to blame the victim. So I really feel for her. I've been around the world, everywhere is dangerous. Even America is dangerous. Everywhere is dangerous. But you have to be street smart. You have to take responsibility knowing I'm in the street. Nobody will... Before I go to report to the police, things may happen so quick. Me, from my travel experience, I have learned you have to, to be very careful in the street because there are no rules in the street. And sometimes me, when I tell Rocio, Rocio feels like I'm pushing her or I'm trying to control her or doing... And I let her... It's not like that. It's not like that, and it's not necessary that you bring this on the videos. Yeah, Marwa. but I let her be, guys. I let please, her be. Please, please. I hope she learns from this lesson, because at the end of the day, me as Marwa, I have to take care of her. 
I have to take care of her in the street, everything, guys. And that means at least she can listen to me, guys. At least. Just a little Well, now Maro is trying to make a full story about him. Not but guys, story, but... the thing is, the unfortunate thing is for me, it's about me. It's, I, I'm the one feeling terrible. I'm the one that lost all of my stuff. So... But I have to take care of you. Um, I want you to understand that you're not... You are, you are so, not yeah, guys. Um, this is the beginning of this trip. Um, it's not happy at all. But I just hope more nice things bring yes, guys, we are comes very in this. In this. Things will be okay. In I, this thing, it's just material things. Nothing, nothing happened to me. It was Mama, 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 Mama. Even if maybe Brazil feels that you are controlling her, you know. Those other stuff we are talking about, it was not necessary at all. You guys watch the video, you see the way, you know, Mao, you know, Rosio is the pain. So, at that moment, the best thing you can do for her is to encourage her, sympathize with her, give her shoulder to lie on, not trying to push all the blame and start bringing stuff, oh, she don't listen and all that. It was not, um, it was not nice, okay? So, next time, please, Mao, do better, okay? We are not perfect. You know, keep learning every day. Now, there's this person that dropped this thing. Immediately, I saw the Mawa video. This is something that just caught my attention and I had to, you know, I had to um, comment. This person said, are you dumb? You know this is Nairobi, keeping her back on her hand. Like, seriously, who, who is this non-entity? Who is this, who is this person? How can you just go to somebody page at this time this person need a word of encouragement sympathy you just you just tell the person are you dumb what kind of mommy is this huh how to comment what kind of nonsense person are you instead of sympathizing you are spinning it mumu ah the thing is shock me you know this kind of a thing just sympathize with the person first then you can ask, okay, next time, do it like this, do it like this. Now, we say you just go there. The next, first thing you are saying, are you dumb? What is, are you dumb? Huh? Oh, God. So, this one say, Mama is not streetwise. You shouldn't have allowed Ro to carry any belonging on herself. This is on the page. But if you go to the video, you just heard Mama said, he told Rosio. And I think uh, sometimes experience is the best time. Uh, Experience is the best teacher, you know. So it, it's so painful. Voila, it's so painful. I really feel bad for, for Rosie. I really feel bad for her. So let's check out this guy, Drew Bisky. Bisky. Hope I pronounce it well for my teachers that always come to correct me. Drew Bisky. Okay. So this guy is over four million subscribers. He's a big fish in the industry. He's a travel vlogger. He does um. His content is based on travel vlog, based on life experience, people, you know, every type of people in the world, you know, he goes there. I'll be bringing his content, okay? I think this is my first, I don't know if it's my first or second time talking about it. So, you are welcome to my channel. Now, this video you did about Jamaica, your title, I spent a day in the Jamaica most dangerous slum. Now, I thought slum is the same thing as, uh, as ghetto. So in this video, it's like it's different, okay? When you say you are you are staying in ghetto and in slum, I think it's different. I don't know, but let me know in the comment section all Jamaicans in the house. So I don't like how he started this video. The media is painting this country black. You are still coming to add to what is being said there. There's no place that there's no bad and good. You understand? So even as Jamaica is um, one of the uh, tourists. Or one of the most tourist country that people really okay. Let me say Caribbean. Okay, it's one of the least. Same way a lot of people see it as one of the most dangerous countries in Caribbean. You understand? So let's check some of, some of the clip that Drew Biscay made in this video. Okay. In recent years, Jamaica has become one of the most dangerous countries in the Caribbean. Federal government is warning tourists about traveling to certain destinations in the Caribbean. Due to a rise in drug cartels, two men were shot, one fatally. This nation of 2.8 million has seen a rise in violent crime, leaving many tourists wondering if they should vacation elsewhere. I want to find out what life is really like on the streets of Jamaica, so that's why I'm heading to Flankers, the most dangerous hood in Montego Bay. They shoot somebody up that side. Where do people get their guns from? Well, I mean, 
<laughs> what you're about to see is a raw exploration of the vibrant yet troubled heart of Jamaica's tourist hub. I thought it was going to find me. Okay, you heard what he said. In the recent times, Jamaica is known as the most dangerous country in the Caribbean. Or is it the world? How did he put it? I think that intro is a no 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 for me. Yeah. You can't come into my country and you are using that as an intro. And this big video, the people you went to visit and all that, they, they are happy seeing you. They, they welcomed you. But they didn't know that if you go back, when you are going to produce the video or you are going to post the video, you are going to label them as the most dangerous country in the world in the recent time. I think it's not nice. We can do better. You understand? Uh, what, is, what is his name? Drew B. Sky. Even if you are a miss, I don't know if you are a miss Ray or you are a white. You know, doesn't give you, you shouldn't do that, okay? I think everywhere in the world is slum. I, okay? Yeah. There are places like this, even the America or the US where you are. Crimes happen every day. So when I watch the video, the intro is a no-no-no for me. I don't know about any other person. Maybe other Jamaica people, they, they, they are cool about it. So this was a home, but not anymore? Well, uh, the people still developing it. Flankers is what's known as a garrison community in Jamaica. A garrison is a housing development erected by the government, which carefully selects residents that will wholly support a local politician. Often, these urban areas are marked by poverty, mm -hmm. gang violence, and political manipulation. How many people live in Flankers? Over 50,000. I know her from she's really a little kid. Yeah. Do you like living here? Yeah, nice. You know, I came here because everybody's too scared to come here. They say, Oh, I don't want to go to Flanker. So that's why I said, I want to go. Nice, man. Nice. Nice place. Nice place. Really? Yeah, nice place. Is this, were you born and raised here? Yeah, this is my house. Oh, nice. It's my auntie. What did he die? Over there is my. Careful. Look at me. Oh, it's got a whole garden back here. Yeah, she's a floor girl. That's cool. These dogs kind of freak me out. We just entered this lady's house. Super interesting. See how rugged everything is. I mean, just walking into the house. Look at the rocks we have to walk over. Rust on the buildings. Have a bend down when you're coming through here, bro. Whoa. Let's check other places. <laughs> it seems like not everybody here has uh, Come through a little challenge. Yeah. Is this your house? Yeah. You're cleaning? Yeah. Every every morning, just sweeping? Not every morning. Do you work? No. Tell me about Flankers. It's a nice community to visit. But I heard I heard in the past it was dangerous, but now it's okay. Yeah. Sometimes they trigger off. Trigger off, like yeah. guns. Yeah. How often do you hear gunshots? From last year to this year, we don't really hear nothing much. I know killing not really go on from last year. But otherwise, it's okay. Hope it's like that in the name of Jesus. Have you had friends that lost their lives? Yeah, last person. In it? 2017. Here, on the streets? Over our next community. Full of friends over there. He wasn't welcome in the other community? Right. So they killed him? Are you serious? Yeah. This month makes six years since he did my second child. When I remember the 7th of January, cry. When he was alive, he does not love when me cry. When he see me cry, they say, me not for cry. Me do weaky, weaky. So me always motivate myself. I remember when he said that. It's so sad. I'm sorry to hear that. Everyone's scared to come here, but people are super nice. If you have a friend in here, you can't come in here. What about me as a white man? Well, <laughs> she's like, good luck. <laughs> so this lady, she lost her one of her child due to the crime that is happening in that uh, in that area okay i think it's flackers uh, flackers so she lost her child so the you know the guy was asking people are afraid to come to this area but people look so nice you understand people are nice and she said yes everyone is free to call me and she said what about me as a white man <laughs> the woman laughed you understand and also noticing that when they went uh, to see the first woman, okay, the first woman that had a low coat. When they wanted to shake hand, the woman didn't even mind her. You understand? So, I won't say anything. In fact, I like it. Yeah, because 
you know, maybe they are heard this guy just coming to take advantage of us. And of course he did. All this video is going to, you know, he monetize it, you understand? And that's why I wasn't even happy, you know, the first statement of the intro of his uh, video. You understand? You went to this place, you, 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 you capture them. They were so nice to you. So, I don't, you know. Even, let's say, okay, the title, you know, title is normal. People clip it. People give a uh, video's title that they feel to attract, okay? The, the, you know, title that can attract them, uh, people to watch and all that thumbnail, you understand? That's why don't judge with title or thumbnail, watch the video. But what you said in the video, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <sighs> I think there are better ways um, you can, other places you can go because most of all these white people, all these travel vloggers and whatever, when they come, I don't know why they like visiting the snob. They feel, you know, they want to get the bad side of that country, you know, that can give them views and all that. I think you guys just stop from an airplane, you stop airplane and from there, at least... Now you posted this video, you you know show the world the the, the dangerous, most dangerous slope according to you. I think you should go to other better place, other good place. Still show them the world. See, see you understand? Show the world, let the world know. Okay, so the, everybody will not have this mentality that Jamaicans are like this. Okay, even in Nigeria, even in Nairobi, things like this happen. I just talked about Mawa that the girlfriend just was robbed in Nairobi. Okay. There is no time on my side. So let me quickly talk about Sean. The one of Sean and the Kino. Okay. So maybe tomorrow there's another person here I can add to it and all that. So that's that. So every day there is gist. Every day there is gist. <laughs> Today is Sunday. I need to stay with my family. Enjoy with my family. Okay. So let me quickly show about Sean. Okay. Now the last video I did last night. You know, I was talking about Sean. Yes, I did. It was a vo voiceover. So Sean says she wants to have a slogan. Okay, now that video was my opinion. Okay, Sean wants to have a slogan because is it that is it because she really need it or because the one go have it or the one go have a slogan? And yes, the one go is not the one that you know those of you that say the one go is not the one that uh, brought about this slogan. It no, it's not the one go, but. On this street, you know, when I mean street and community, I don't some of you understand. On this our community, it was it was Diwango that is always saying it. So we have no Diwango like this is one of her songs, this is one of her slogans, this is one of her uh, regular talk. I don't know if you understand. Uh, so uh, you know the thing go, I think. So it's just me, you know. I don't like friends who want to have everything I have, do everything I do, you understand? For me it's not a healthy competition, you understand? And then uh, again I will advise Sean. I don't know. Should I need it for me to advise her? Um, let her not gossip the one go with Kino, okay? <laughs> because I I'm just going back to the history and thinking about it, you know, what have happened before and just advising her. Right now you are you are in the limelight. People must talk about you. So what will happen is that don't don't gossip the one go. <laughs> Anything you know that you cannot say in the presence of the one go. The one go is not there. <laughs> Sean, don't say it to on camera in the absence of the one go because we are going to see this clip. We are going to react about it. The one go is going to see it. And I don't know. Okay. So those of you who feel, oh, is uh, this video is going to bring a division, you are talking crap because as far as I know, these are two adults. There is nobody that creation will spoil their friendship or relationship. Any relationship or, or friendship that God spoiled, just know that that relationship wants to spoil before now. That relationship or that friendship want to spoil, not because people reacted. People are reacting to what they are bringing here. You understand? So, however they are react about it, it is their opinion. And you, you don't have the right to tell people what to do. You can give an opinion. But when you come, you are dictating. You have, you can't go to their channel to dictate for them. How dare you? You think you can come on... Okay, let me not speak for anybody. Okay, let me speak for my channel. You come to my channel to talk about me. Let me be a last suitable. Don't try me. So let's continue. So Sean, okay, this is just my observation. <laughs> let's go to the main, the main. Hey, but in Nigeria we say, hey, you know the cocoa, you know, hey, you know that, you know the cocoa now. Nah. Hey, means that you know the routine, you understand, you know the thing go. So let's go to the main cocoa, the main. Eh, eh, eh. So that is how Sean and uh, our sister, the one go, they went to the club. 
So instead of Kino to concentrate, concentrate on the purpose why they went to the club or concentrate on Diwango. In fact, Kino had a lot to say about Sean. Sean dancing move, Sean the way Sean was doing in the club, everything about Sean. Hey, it's as if Kino went to that party to study Sean. Hey, look at the sweet words that Kino was saying to Sean. Hey, oh my God. Now, before I play the video, because I'm searching it, I found out that a lot of people are advising Sean to go to other parts, okay, other parts of Jamaica. Sean a bit only too bad that Sean should take you know to take her to other places because uh, we don't know how long the one is going to stay, but Sean have a uh, time in Jamaica is limited, okay. So Sean should you know go to other places and even in the comment section people are even requesting that they can they can even take Sean around them and their family okay they can even take Sean around to those places is that not nice so I don't know what is uh, Sean mind if Sean will you know listen to his subscribers his fans there's how big you are your subscriber that detail you know determine or you know dictate for you how you should do not all those toxic uh, commenters no i mean your real lovers you understand they would even when you are tired you don't want to post ah oh, please give us something we want to watch something today we want to watch your video you know hey! <laughs> the love is massive you know so let me play this video <laughs> now me a speak part of, you know videos anyway guys we are almost at our house so um, as you can see trying to pack trying to make sure that everything is ready for the journey kina i'm just showing them that we are leaving esther here yes. hi esther packing up packing up packing up, packing up. good morning packing kino up, up. morning morning how morning. are you sad it's so sad you know, it's a, it's a happy goodbyes and a sad goodbye. Yeah. Because we had fun, so that means oh. we're happy inside. You know, so Can you hear my voice? Hey, it's hey the... guys. <laughs> Sean, I hear something else. Sean, our lesson. I went out with her and I'm telling you. I never love so much in my life. I never see so much, so much energy in my life. Listen, it's the first. I cannot... Hey! Hey, I've never seen somebody like Sean in my life. I never seen somebody that have so much energy like Sean in my life. <laughs> anyway, Sean is a vibe, but <laughs> hey, so people will still cry. They will still cry for this video. If they do not do this video, I will not have anything to talk about. Hey, hey somebody is saying. Oh, you are too beautiful to do reaction. Stop reaction. Be beautiful to do reaction. Huh? Oh, I'm too beautiful that up to now you have not sent me money. Send me money now. Nah. How can, can I be this too beautiful? You are complimenting me. You are not complimenting me. Oh, you are too beautiful. Send me your account number. You are telling me I'm too beautiful. Stop reaction. What kind of uh, mumu advice is that? Let's continue, Joe. Sad. It's so sad. You know, it's, a, yeah. it's, a, it's a happy goodbyes and a sad goodbyes. Yeah. You know, we had fun. So that means oh. we're happy inside. You know, so Can you hear my voice? Hey, it's hey the... guys. <laughs> Sean, I hear something. Hey, Sean, our lesson. I went out with her and I'm telling you, I never love so much in my life. I never seen so much, so much energy in my life. Listen, it's the first. I cannot say I've seen anyone like her. But trust me, she owned the world dance floor. She was like, literally like. like Words can't even explain. <laughs> but, but we should see. You know what we are doing? A live stream. I don't care about copyright. I said, guys, tonight is the night. You're going to know who Sean really is. Listen. <laughs> oh, the dancing was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Eh? Eh? Can I say, eh? eh? The dancing was crazy. It well, it, it wasn't crazy. Mm. It was out of this universe. It was out of this yes, world? I was hey, serious. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you guys. Yeah. Yesterday night, I had told Kino. Kino, listen. Yeah. I gave him a warning. What did I say? She did. She did. Guys, she yeah. gave me the warning before we stepped out. She said, Kino, yeah. <laughs> if you see me doing this. <laughs> dancing like crazy. crazy. And I'm in this corner. Just know how the thing go. <laughs> Don't worry said, about it. Kino, me. if you see me doing this. <laughs> You know the thing go. But guys, it was more than that. It was only a Let me tell you guys, I told Kino, hey. you know, listen. 
Uh, I don't know whether you're expecting to see a calm and collected <laughs> lady in the club. Uh, wow. I don't know if you're waiting to see. You know, Dimongo is, is kind yeah. and sweet. That's not what no. you're going to see. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not shocked. It doesn't surprise me at all because it's clear queen. What do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect, guys? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know if you're waiting to see. You know, Dimongo is, is kind yeah. and sweet. That's not what no. you're going to see when it comes to me. Hey. I will be running around and dancing yes. and jumping. And you must you might see some <laughs> wild moves. Trust me. <laughs> guys, it was a wild move. <laughs> that evil carnival, I don't go and see so much energy. Right? <laughs> Earth is off the chart. She's just what in a billion. I'm telling you. That energy, I would like keep on looking back and... Yeah. Is yeah, it's true. Guys, Kino kept on checking on men. He's like, where is she? One minute I've disappeared. I'm not there. So it was up and down. Up and down. <laughs> She's running from there. Running. Listen, she have her own stage. You know, Elephant Man, right? He's a Jamaican dancer yeah. artist. That man is the kind of energy guy. Yeah. But he's nowhere close to you. <laughs> no, Elephant Man, sorry to say this, but you have the Elephant Lady here. Trust me, she is more than something else. Listen. Guys, I'm telling you, it was so, so mad. Mm -hmm. And I was interacting with everybody. Yes. She <laughs> interacted with everybody. She stopped all the ladies there. Look, come, let's dance. Show me how to do this. I'm yeah. Like, Teach me the Jamaican the, way. Listen, when the African beats come on, when the African ah. beats, Jesus. You could stay if I'm down Kingston and hear Sean about. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I, I really enjoyed Jamaica, man. And I was telling everybody, mm -hmm. I'm African. I'm from yeah. Africa. We love you, Jamaica. Hey, and she was loud. Ain't no one saying you're gonna say we love you, Jamaica, and the music stops same time. <laughs> Everyone here when she said, <laughs> and the nice of Africa, and the DJ say, big up to that Africa. Hey, guys, trust me. Wow. In the part with one ah, night. it was such no, a vibe, man. Night. It was such a vibe. I, I hope them clips I got with you, you know. Yeah. You can probably see something. Yeah, I'm gonna show idea. them. You can see, but trust but you know me. what, you know, I'm so happy that you came because. Mm. Uh, if 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 you have somebody like me, I need somebody like you and okay. me to balance. Because yeah. we cannot all be wild yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Because not least, guys, let me tell you, I was <laughs> literally just watching wow. and, and looking. Everything is alright. Because one wrong move, I am not there. Mm -hmm. I am down there, and <laughs> I went to the DJ and said, "Listen, can you play Afrobeat yeah. now?" <laughs> she was upstairs and she run down. She's like, "Come, come, come!" And I she said, literally run. Come, 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 come. While she's running, she tell people, "Move, move, move, move!" move. I'm like, "What's going on here, in Jamaica?" <laughs> the energy, uh, man, I it love lit, Jamaica. You know, the vibe. Yeah. Ah, the it vibe was a lightning energy. energy. I'm telling you. Yeah, at least now I will always remember mm -hmm. Ocho Rios with something. Because hey. you know what? I was like, when I go back home, I want to sit down. Mm -hmm. and reminisce and say oh god mm -hmm. i have to go back to jamaica of course i have to because we came back at around what time four yeah four in the look look my eye guys we've not even slept yeah. we're just like trust me oh it was it was i'm telling you it was a five. night if you anyone remember. is gold and they wasn't dancing the reason be there wasn't dancing because i was busy watching shauna dancing <laughs> You know, everyone was busy laughing. Before, no one was laughing. But yeah. when Shona start, hey, I was looking behind and see everyone in the table was like, who, who, who? Yeah, they, they are not even trying to, like, remove their, their camera to take video yeah. of me. And I'm like, don't, don't hide it. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. I'm <laughs> they said that we are hiding, they, they wanted to hide to take a video of her. And she said, no, don't hide it. I'm here. I'm here. Hey, hey. Show that case study. Oh, my God. Oh, man. It was amazing, guys. It was a vibe. But you know why I always party like that, Kino? Because mm -hmm. I don't party all, all the time. Mm -hmm. So when I get the chance, oh, I say, I don't, yeah, I don't like when, when people go to clubs and they're on their phones. They're yeah. acting cool. They, yeah. You didn't come here to act cool. No. Let's dance. Let, yeah. let's, let's sweat it let's out. Party. Let's party. Let's party. And you, are you a prime example for that? Yeah. Because now if that. I go back home, I have something to say. I'm going to say, mm -hmm. oh, oh, guys. <laughs> Jamaica nightlife yeah. is wild. No, but it's you make wild. it wild. She guys, you make it wild. I Everyone brought the drama. Kenyan energy hey, to Jamaica. I'm telling you, that Wait. energy is too much. Guys. I'm telling you. Much. But anyway, it goes good. with her. You cannot dance. You're gonna learn to know. You're gonna learn. You're gonna have to move. Something. You're gonna have the way to learn. Like, hey, 
There's no eyes on her. There's none. She's like, she's the only one there in her own world. She's in that element like, oh, it's only me alone here. No one's watching me. So I told, you know what I told the kid? I told the kid, oh, listen, mm-hmm. I'm not going to drink now. Because if I drink, yeah. it will be worse. Okay. So I said, today, I got, that was me trying to be on my best behavior. What? Yeah. No, so that means that, guys, I wouldn't want to do worse. Like, that was the best behavior. We don't drink it. No, no, no. Tell us, if it was, you'd have been on the drum rolling. Oh, they go- That's rolling. the thing. So I was like, no, 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 no I'm not going to drink. I was like, oh, where are you going to get the energy? I said, just watch. You just watch and see. The energy is going to come. already there. Okay. The mango. The mango. Okay, if um, Sean and Kino, they had all this conversation, you know, in the club. So, which means they ghosted Diwango. Which means they, uh, Diwango was not part of that conversation. You understand? If all these things that they were saying, this is all these things that happened, that this is what he told her, this is what she told him. Which means, what was the time uh, the other person, what was happening? You understand? I don't know if you guys understand. Which means your attention was shown. Yeah. You know? So, that is it for this video. It was a quick one because I need to edit fast and post, okay? It's not really easy. Thank you guys for watching this video. I truly appreciate you guys. Oh my god. I'm feeling sleepy. But I need to I need to do this, okay? Then I'll go and sleep. So Sean said she did not drink before doing this. Just imagine if she if she is high, what will not happen? Drop your opinion about Mawa and his girlfriend. Drop your opinion about um this guy Drew Drew being sky. They drop your opinion about Sean and uh, Kino and D. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in my next video. I love you guys. Ciao.